Hey, wake up. Please wake up. Oh, good. I was really worried that I might have overdone on the sleeping medication that I spiked your drink with at that party. Sorry I had to do it that way, but this was the only way I could have really gotten you into my basement without using force or harming you. But you're awake now, so that means you're fine. So let me just explain why you're here. I have really just had a huge crush on you. I could never muster up the courage to ask you out, so you probably don't really know who I am, but you will learn a lot about me since we're on our first date. I know you're chained up and gagged, but you will get used to it since I will be doing most of the talking until I feel that you've calmed down. You won't say anything that you don't mean because you're scared. But from the way you look right now, you actually don't look that scared at all. If anything, you look really relaxed. Please don't tell me you've been kidnapped like this before. Because if you have, I'll be really upset that I'm not the first person to do this. I find that kidnapping shows someone how much you really care for them since you have to go very far out of the way to get them and make sure that they're comforted and cannot leave. Which, that brings me back to why I did this. Ever since I first saw you, I just knew that you were my soulmate and that I had to have you. Now you may not feel the same, but give it some time and I know that you will feel the same. Since you have been so good so far, I'll take the gag out of your mouth because you seem like you aren't really bothered by what I'm saying. Wait, what? You know who I am? How exactly do you know me? I made sure that for the most part I was private about my feelings towards you and never told anyone about it. Wait a minute. So you're telling me that you saw me stalking you and you weren't scared or worried at all? Do you not care if someone stalks you? That would definitely be a cause for concern if I was in your place. What? You, you liked the attention so you didn't mind? Wait. You must be bluffing. There's no way that you like that. This has to be a mind game and that so that I'll let you go. And then you'll run away. Nice try, but that trick is not going to work on me. Wait, what? You were being serious? Alright, as much as I would like to believe that, I cannot. You barely had any time to get to know me anyways. It is just too soon. What if I was someone who was actually planning on hurting you when you were in danger? Do you really not care about yourself? Well, you thought I was too pretty to do something like that? Wh what? Also, you looked me up online to figure out who I was? You have to be making this up so that I'll trust you. Okay, there, there's no way that you liked me as well. If I knew that, I would have just asked you out instead of doing all this. Well, I really screwed up now, didn't I? Even if you don't like me now because of all this, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna make it work. What? How can you still like me? I had a whole thing planned out where you would be in my basement and I would keep you here till you liked me back no matter how long it would take. Every day I would just shower you with tender love and care and make nice home cooked meals for you. But now I'm kind of unsure. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting this at all and now I really just don't know what to do. I was really expecting you to be angry, upset, or really just shaking with fear but you're not, and now I'm kind of lost. Of course I want to be with you. I love you, but this was kind of a shock to me. I guess the true test to see if you're being honest is to unchain you and see if you're going to run away or not. But just be wary. I do have some tricks up my sleeve if you try anything like that. Alright, there we go, and now you're unchained. Hopefully they weren't too tight. No? Okay, that's good. Sorry I had to do that, but I promise if you're being sincere, I won't ever tie you up again. Be careful getting up. You might still be weak from the sleeping medication. 
what? Do you want to give me a hug? Of course we can hug. You have no idea how much I've dreamed of doing that. And maybe some other couple things. So what are my plans for the rest of this date? Well, I really thought this was going to be in a completely different direction from how it is now, but I guess I'll have to improvise. How does a movie and some dinner sound? Yeah, I really haven't been on a date before, but I'll try my best to make this seem like I have. In all honesty, you're the first person I've ever liked, so it comes as no surprise that I've never been on a date with anyone else before. I'm just really happy right now that you like me back. Alright, how about this? I'll let you come upstairs and I can show you around and we can have a real date. It'll be perfect. Oh, okay, you would like that? Alright, let's go upstairs. Alright, so this is my house. So, over there is the bathroom. And then over here is the living room. Over here is the kitchen. And, um, yeah, I would say we could probably have our dinner date right over there by the TV. I have Netflix, so you can pretty much choose whatever you'd like to watch, which shouldn't be too hard to find something on there. But on the topic of dinner, what would you like to eat? I actually am not too sure on your tastes in food. Yeah, I, I can do that. What drinks do you like? I have a really wide selection because I bought a lot of drinks because I was assuming that you were going to be down in that basement for a while and I just kind of bought a whole bunch of drinks I thought you might like but since this turned out to be completely different than what I thought um I just have a ton of drinks in the fridge so you could probably most likely be able to find something that you'll like to drink yeah we got orange juice monster energy just a whole bunch of drinks that I thought you might like. Yeah, we have Coke and Pepsi as well, and even Dr. Pepper. I wasn't exactly sure what you liked in drinks either, so I kind of just bought a little bit of everything. Yeah, go ahead and go take a look. But I'm going to go ahead and get started on dinner for us. Is there anything else you would like before I get started? Oh, a candle? I always thought that that was just for like an overly romanticized film, but yeah, I actually do have one right here. You would like it? Alright, well, let me go ahead and light that and I'll go ahead and put that on the table. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get started on dinner now, so go ahead and choose a movie for us and I'll be right there with you in a little bit. <laughs> 